Hello everyone, I'm going to show you guys a small guide on how to rush floors efficiently. I'm not going to be showing you just rushing through the floors in complexity one, I'm going to be using a slightly different method. First of all, before we get started in the guide, I just want to say uh, this guide is of no use to you. If you are 55 Dungeoneering or below, you need to be above that to actually rush floors. What the concept of rushing floors is, you want to go through your first few floors on a very low complexity so it doesn't take long to complete as completing them on a full complexity 6 medium when you're a high level is a really bad idea as you don't get very good XP for the lower floors so there's no point in actually trying really hard to complete them for a terrible reward. So first of all just make sure you're 60 Dungeoneering or above if you're planning on getting around 55-60 Dungeoneering or you already have that and you don't know how to rush this guide is going to be exactly for you so as you can see if I open up my floors I have every single floor checked off that means I've done them all this is what you want you want to go through all your floors first make sure everything's checked off and then it says current progress 48 and that I can only go up to 48 so that means I've done all the floors through 48 and then you want to click reset and it will reset your progress but your prestige progress will be at 48. Uh, I can go into prestige in another guide if anyone wants me to, but today I'm just going to be showing you how to rush floors. Now, instead of doing complexity 1, what a lot of people choose to do is rush through floors on complexity 1. What we're actually going to be doing is rushing through on complexity 2 because I'm going to show you guys how to do C2 fishing. However, if you already have 99 fishing, or if you do not wish to be efficient for whatever reason, uh, instead of rushing through on complexity 2, you can just rush through on complexity 1, and you're going to follow the exact same method that I do. Ex instead of fishing, though, you're just going to rush through the rooms and kill the boss as fast as possible. I choose to rush through on complexity 2 and fish because it's more efficient with the time put in, because I am not 99 fishing, and I need to get that skill to 99 at one point, so it's just better if I do it this way. And since I'm a very high dungeoneering level, you want to I want to rush my first 20 floors and then do all the rest on medium complexity 6 to get the XP from them. However, I know not everyone is going to have the exact same level as me, so what I would recommend is keep 20 floors that you can do for XP and anything above that you want to rush. For example, if you have up to floor 30 unlocked, I believe that's level 61 Dungeoneering where you up unlock level 30, uh, might be 59, pretty sure it's 60. What you want to do is rush floors 1 through 10. And then floors 11 through 30, you actually do and get the XP from them. But 1 through 10, you rush through, so you don't have to waste your time on those really low-level floors. And once you unlock all the floors uh, through 1 through 30, once you get all those floors checked off and done, then you just reset your progress and rush through the floors again. So what you want to do, it, since you start with a few items in your inventory on a Complexity 2 dungeon, you just want to sell something in your inventory and buy 250 feathers, or as many as you can from the shop, and then just proceed through the dungeon, and any room where there's water in it, as you can see on the mini-map here, there is water in this room, and so you can immediately tell that there is going to be fish in that room because all rooms with water in them have fish in them, and I'm on mage at the moment because uh, I was doing some engineering the other day and I was using mage for that I actually got a really nice celestial catalytic staff which is the best staff in the game I like maging and engineering over meleeing because for monsters with higher defense uh, mage is a lot more accurate than melee however it is a bit slower but I just like it better because of the accuracy factor uh, for C2 dungeon I would highly recommend to melee however so what we you can do to do that is just go to your bind setup at the smuggler and select the melee option and use that. So I'm now using my melee gear. Unfortunately, I have a primal plate skirt and only a Promethean plate body, so I look like a bit of a derp, but that's okay. And we want to go through this dungeon. Sometimes you can get lucky um, and find waters, uh, water rooms, rooms with water in them where there are up to four fish. There can only be between one and four fish in a room. And when you find the ones where there's about four fishing spots in a room, that's about between 10 and 13k XP at a high fishing level. 
How much XP you will get from the rooms really depends on your fishing level. If you are a very low fishing level, you will not get as much XP because you're going to be fishing lower level fish. However, it is still great XP uh, no matter what level of fishing you are. Bar, you're like, unless you're 12 fishing or something like that, you're going to get pretty good fishing XP. Uh, most people, I would say, have at least 70 to 80 fishing. So if you are in that range, it's going to be extremely efficient to do your rush floors this way. It doesn't take much longer than actually rushing through in complexity one because the only extra time that it takes is taking time to actually fish from the fishing spots and that doesn't take too long. So this room is going to be the boss room since there's only two doors left. C2 dungeons are very small. They don't take very long to complete. Uh, you can complete these things in around three to four minutes. Also, if you are doing it on complexity two and you're a very high prestige, for example, 48, that's fairly high since I'm 95 dungeoneering and I've done every single floor that I can. Uh, you're going to actually get about 1.5k uh, dungeoneering XP for finishing these floors, and that's not a whole lot, but it, it was. It's also more than you would get from doing a C1 dungeon, complexity 1, and so that's why I'd recommend doing this method. Also, the fishing XP is just so nice. Uh, when I rush floors through 1 through 20, I get around 100k fishing XP, and it takes me about, I would say, an hour and 20 minutes to rush through all those floors. So that's very good fishing XP per hour, and also I'm completing my rush floors at the same time, which just makes this efficiency heaven. So if you're into that, if you're a player that's really concerned with getting the best XP possible, I would just highly, highly recommend doing this method. I'm just going to finish off this dungeon really fast. I know the video is getting a bit long, but uh, I'm going to just finish off the dungeon for the video. Hopefully we get a boss that's not too annoying. One also nice thing about doing the C2 dungeons is you start with these uh, items in your inventory. For example, uh, you start with a long bow in your inventory, so if you get one of those really annoying bosses that freezes you and moves away, you can just quickly switch into your range and kill it that way. I also have Promethium arrows bound, so they hit pretty hard. That's a really nice thing. They have a lot of damage on those Promethium arrows. I've been looking actually for a Sagittarian bow drop, but I have not gotten one yet. I would really like one. It just has not happened yet. So this floor has probably taken uh, around maybe even five minutes at most because most floors, they don't have you run back and forth like this one has. Uh, most floors, it's more of a linear pattern and you don't have to run back and forth. The thing is, since I have Promethium arrows bound, I cannot bind Cosmics to make gate stones. However, if you do not have arrows bound, I would highly recommend having cosmic runes bound in your inventory so you can make gate stones, and that will make rushing quite a bit faster. So uh, that's just my suggestion for you guys. Anyway, we're going to kill off this gluttonous behemoth and probably get about 1.5k dungeoneering XP. It's not a lot, but considering you do 20 floors, that's about 30k dungeoneering XP just from your rush floors, which is not bad at all. I will take that any day of the week. So. That's all for this guide. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, for all the efficiency-minded people out there, I really hope you uh, can see that it's really efficient to do C2 fishing while you're rushing. It just makes so much sense, and this is the way I choose to do it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked, uh, you can leave a like if you want, and tell me uh, if you enjoyed the guide in the comments or anything I can improve on or any future guides that you will, would like me to make, and I will make them. That is all, and farewell.